Thank you for choosing this tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to crop and resize an image on Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Part 1. Opening the image. Find the image that you would like to use. For the purpose of this exercise, I will use the image called Tree. Now, left click on the image. As you can see, it is highlighted. Once it's highlighted, right click on it. To your right or left, a small menu will have appeared. There will be a whole lot of options, including preview, edit, print, refresh thumbnail. Hover down until you get to open with. When you hover on open with, a menu, another menu will appear. It may have things such as windows, picture and fax viewer, picture viewer, paint. Hover across and go down to Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Then, left click on it. We have just done part one of three. In part one, we have done opening your image and locating Microsoft Office Picture Manager. Part two, cropping and resizing your image. Once you have opened your image in Microsoft Office Picture Manager, you will see a ribbon has appeared at the top of your screen. It has buttons such as shortcuts, save and print. But we are going to have a close look inside edit pictures. So left click on it. As you can see on the right side of your screen a menu has appeared. It has tools such as brightness and contrast, colour and crop. We are going to have a close look at crop. As you can see, cropping handles have appeared around the side of the image. Grab one of the handles and pull it in. I'm going to crop it so that I just have the tree visible, not the rest. Now back on the right side of your screen, there is a button that says OK. Click it. And voila, the new image. Next step, resizing. At the top of the menu we were just using, there is the title Crop, and to the right of that, a black arrow. Left click on that arrow. As you can see, another menu has appeared. It has buttons such as Locate Pictures, Export, Properties and Rename. We're going to use the second to bottom one, Resize. Left click on that button. As you can see, a new menu has appeared with a list of options to resize. We could use a predefined height and width of, say, Document Large, Document Small, Web Large, Web Small, Email Large, Email Small. Or we could use a custom height, say, 400 by 450 then we go left click OK now our image looks like this or if we were to go a percentage let's say 25% and then left click OK our picture now looks like that you have just finished resizing your image the third and final part exporting your And finally, exporting your image. On the top left hand side of the screen there is a button that says File. Left click on this button. As you can see a menu has appeared with the buttons such as Save, Save As, Save All and Export. Left click on Export. Now on your right side of your screen there is a menu with things such as Set Image Location, Set the Name, and the file type. I'm going to leave my original location as it is. And I'm going to change the name of my file to tree1. And I'm going to export the file as a JPG. Then I'm going to left click OK. And now my image is saving.